What's up YouTube? It's Tuesday and I'm here to share some knowledge. I'm showing you the top 10 items that I sold this past week so that hopefully you can pick up on something new that you can be on the lookout for while you're out hitting those thrift stores and garage sales. I'm hoping to expand your mind because a mind is a powerful thing. So I've always had really good luck with like fast food employee uniform stuff like hats and shirts and jackets and different things from Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, even sold a Hardee's shirt one time, but I actually just sold this Jimmy John's hat, paid a dollar for it at the Salvation Army. It's new with tags and it sold freaky fast for $26.50. So this is my first time finding this brand. These are Nobles. These are athletic unisex actually shoes. And there's a thousand different dad jokes that I could say like this sale was no bull or it was no bull of me to accept the best offer on these shoes. But I'm not going to do that. That's too easy. I'm just going to leave you with this. These are a bolo. Be on the lookout for these things. I paid $10 at a Goodwill and they sold almost instantly for $53. Sold another dummy. This is Charlie McCarthy ventriloquist dummy. Suppose you're a lifeguard. Here's the beach. Yeah. And out there, that's the ocean. That's the ocean? Yeah. Looks a little restless. Yes. It does. <laughs> <laughs> There's a walrus in the second row. All right. <laughs> he is actually not in great condition. His mouth doesn't work. He's got some stains on his outfit. But I actually bought two of these and the first one's already sold. I paid $15 for both of them, so $7.50 for this guy. And he sold for $50. It's actually going to Canada through the Global Shipping Program. So I don't know a lot about fishing reels unless it's one of those little Zebco 33s from Walmart that I take my kids fishing with. But these Abu Garcia's Ambassadors, I do know to look these up. This is the model 5000D and it has some pretty good value. Picked it up in a lot of stuff from a garage sale, so I maybe got three or four dollars in it, and it sold pretty quick for fifty-five. So you guys remember the scene in Forrest Gump where Jenny comes back and she brings Forrest a new pair of running shoes? And she gave me the best gift anyone could ever get in the wide world. Just for running. Well, these are them, kinda. These are Nike Classic Cortez Forrest Gump versions. I actually picked these up from a yard sale. Paid ten dollars for them, but they're in really good condition, nice and clean. Listed them, and they sold for sixty-two fifty in like ten minutes. Guy said he was using them for a Halloween costume, so I've got to get them shipped out today. Hopefully, they get there in time, and I'm assuming he's going to be a Forrest Gump for Halloween. I've had this hat forever it seems like, but I knew the right buyer would come along and they finally did. This is an Abercrombie and Fitch trail guide hat. It's made out of like a felt type material, it's vintage, made in the USA, got elastic in the back, it's a size large, really good condition, but the bill is broken in the middle. Paid a dollar for it at Goodwill and it finally sold for $75. So this is a new trend that I'm just now kind of finding out about. These New Balance 993s, they're made in the USA, and that seems to be the trend. The made in the USA ones are going for some pretty big bucks. I paid $10 from a garage sale. Buyer paid $95, and they're actually going overseas. So he's all in like $124, going to Japan. I don't get the trend, but I don't just like somebody's dad's shoes to me, but I'm not a style expert. So not only do DVD recorders sell pretty well, audio CD recorders sell well too. This is a Philips CDR775. It's a, like I said, it's an audio CD recorder. It's kind of an interesting story. I have about 30 minutes to go to a Goodwill and look around while my daughter's in dance class on Monday. Sometimes I find stuff, sometimes I don't. This time, did pretty well. Paid $11 for this CD recorder and it sold for $142.50. If you see Scotty Cameron or these two logos on anything, doesn't matter if it's a shirt, hat, a putter cover, but especially putters, you definitely want to pick it up. I probably sold this one too cheap, but it's in rough shape. There's some divoting in the front here, a little bit of rust on there, definitely some rust on the shaft. Picked it up at a garage sale and a bundle of stuff. I probably got $10 into it and it sold pretty quick for $162.50, so not too bad. So 
So number one this week is actually a little bit different. It's actually a collection of items that I sold from one sale that I went to. I posted a video last week showing you guys my favorite yard sale ever that I've been to. And you guys reached out and wondered about the military stuff and said you'd love an update when the stuff start to sell. Well, it's starting to sell. So far, I've sold eight items this week for $635 gross. After fees and shipping, that's $484 net. Not too bad from one sale. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.